G'day and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge for the 27th of January. We are here to capture three foundry officers while not being seen. We've got an armor-piercing shotgun, a self-charging glitch trap, and a crash beam. We are weak, which means that the glitch uh, is not relevant at all today. Yet again, that glitch has turned out to be a lot less widely applicable than I ever expected. Alrighty. Anyway, uh, concussion armor-piercing shotgun should be quite handy for this, as will a glitch trap. Anytime you're capturing a glitch trap is great because it means you don't need to worry about how you're going to carry the body. And the cold fire is not the worst, but it's certainly not the best. So I'm just going to break here and then try and approach from the back. Ugh. That was less than ideal, of course. You're situated like that, and we've got a shotgun, which is about the worst possible combo. Um, do we try and kick you closer? My worry here is that I'll kick someone else closer instead. Alright, let's do this. Uh, of course. So instead we have this problem. Um, let's see. You don't see me, so for reference, this is how far we need to get. You have both got pistols. Okay. I think we just give up and we take you out. I need to, however, set some set a target, go down this way. Give that back. I guess I need to do this. Grab and now place. Crap, that was not what I needed to do. I want to place it like so. Wow, that's right, skimming along the bottom. Okay, fantastic. That gives me two advantages here. One, they're all looking the wrong way. And two, uh, I can shotgun and then steal to grab. Okay, fantastic. I'll take, I'll take, I'll take. I'm starting with this though, because I absolutely cannot afford for you to ever, ever, ever pick up that goddamn shield. And now I can shoot you. Okay, and now we can go this way. Pick it up, throw it up, go this way. Go this way, actually. I'll take a shotgun as well. I'd missed silenced uh, when we first showed this, but shoot, shoot you specifically. Because you are by far the most important one to kill. At some point I should start moving. Okay, I do need to remember though that uh, this is... Okay, fine. This is fine. So we just pop in here, we shoot you. I'm going to shoot because it's simpler and it avoids some of the potential issues. Uh, we want to... Uh, I think we just want to crash you. We've got a spare crash capacity to do that. I'm going to shoot you too. Remote this ship. Really? Okay. Okay, so now I can shoot you with a quiet gun. Shoot you with a much less quiet gun. Though it doesn't actually matter. Are you self-charging or 
Uh, no, not X glitches, so you are in fact self charging. Head back down here. Ah, you kidding me. How did I. A quick fire concussive shotty. So basically, what you're saying is I got all the concussive stuff that I ever will need. Chuck this. Where's my glitch trap? There's my glitch trap. Pop you there. Take this back before I forget. Um, you know what? We will in fact take the body. So pick you up, go here, throw. I said throw and use. There we go. That's better. So here we are going to use. So the reason why I used the teleporter was I managed to not. Uh, get onto the ship with the glitch timing left. So I kind of had to do something about that. But um, yeah, that slipstream was 110% worth grabbing. And that telepad was the right one to do because otherwise I'd need to circumnavigate the ship, which I did not have enough time to do. Okay, armored. If only we had something that was armor piercing, which we do. Target fleas and a glitch trap. So there will be two potential strategies here. One, get to the telepad, which is there. I have a really interesting idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to blow that and use the telepad and leave with a glitch trap probably just near the doorway. That's my plan. Although it'll depend on where other things are. You are there, you're going that way. Interesting that we end up with ammo. That implies a gun in the cockpit, which... I don't know why it's done that. Oh, I guess we had an item come out. Clung. Okay, that was great. So basically we're going to blast this lot and shoot that. Yep and loot these while we wait for things to go okay so run out run out shoot immediately like so pretty sure that got you shoot you too so that lets me do this uh, I just realized you're still going to have momentum, aren't you? No, you aren't. Uh, wait, this is capture. So I need to make sure. Give me this. I guess I know where that's going to be. So I can also do this. Do I care? Not really. I'm like 99% sure that's going to go bang. But I really don't want to lose the amount of time it would cost otherwise. So now. We do this. We go this way. We fling me out into space. What we absolutely cannot actually do in this case is possibly let my character get into a station. That would actually be disaster. Which I find really unusual about this situation. Wow, it takes a long time to slow down in slow-mo. Because the reason why that would be a disaster is until our target leaves. Look at how fast we move, it's amazing. It's just incredible the speed at which you can get to in the pod. Um, if our, if we were not, if we were to enter a station, our gear will be returned to our stash, which includes the thing that is currently going to prevent our target from escaping. No, 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 no. Stop that, options. Accessibility, 
All the zoom off. I'm waiting for that telltale uh, thwip. We can still see the dot. There it is. No, you don't. There we go. Okay, now we've got our target. I could try and do a pseudo dock, but I don't think it's worth it. Look at how far we've gone. Let's in fact do this. In fact, I need to turn off our accessibility option. So this is in fact where I risk a completely different and much sillier problem. And that is that we got too much speed in that time and that I'm not going to catch up, which is looking more and more likely which is definitely a worry. Oh wait, I just realized I could do something to help me. Shoot this way. Shoot this way. Shoot this way. And shoot this way. Okay, that definitely helped. Stop. Shoot this way. Shoot this way. If I die from something this dumb I will be very disappointed in both myself and this game okay so now right now I'm going at one-third speed so I should note that it is not that surprising that the timer is dropping as slowly as it is you can also see that we are zooming in My worry here is, of course, that I overshoot and don't have enough time to correct. This is trying to correct our speed relative to us. Okay, I think I'm going to get this, but I'm still worried. <laughs> I mean, I'm more worried than I should be, given the amount of time that's left. Okay, got it. That was only <laughs> way, way too far. But we got a clean nine seconds. So, you know. Who's silly? Me or the game? In you go. There we go, nine seconds, not seen. I'll take that back now, mate. Uh, this is also target fleas, so potentially we could use a similar trick. Okay, there's our target. Is the telepad anywhere near the entry point? Nope. Not even a little. There's our telepad. So we probably just leg it. I mean, that makes the most sense. We're going to leg it, dump him there, leave. Uh, if we set off the alarm, we kick him out. Okay, get a mission. We do have the mission. Glitch dashing guards. Okay, so what we want to do then is we want a shotgun. Uh, and we want another shotgun. So the reason for the shotguns here is we don't care about preserving life. I mean, we rarely would anyway. Uh, and so all of these will stun enemies. Uh, some of them will actually take out enemies, but all of them will stun. And that is what we care about the most. Because a stunned enemy can't see, and an enemy what can't see ya, can't see ya. Which is what we actually care about in this instance. So, yeah. That's the plan. Don't get seen. I mean, that's always the plan. But in this case, more so. I mean, actually, that's not true. There's quite a number of instances where we don't care about not being seen. Because, frankly, we are fast enough to ignore any such problems that being seen could bring. Alright, so here, we're going to basically run through here, shoot you with a shotgun, take your stuff, and then we're going to do a similar trick. We're going to run through, in fact, probably straight through here, shooting you. 
Uh, that gives us a key, lets us go uh, probably through here. In fact, if we can get the alarm set off, that's not a bad thing for us because our target's going to be headed the right way. So maybe it's better to run down and up? No, I don't think so. Let's see. If we just go this way. I believe that should, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go down. You are not glitch dashing. Good. Right. Give me this. Okay. Well, yeah, we're just going to run straight down through this lot. Steal. Uh, I guess shoot you lot like so. And then shoot you lot like so. And swear because we let this happen. Okay. Alrighty, so I can do something like this. You're irrelevant. You're coming right for us. Okay, so let's do something like this instead. We are going to drop this glitch trap right here. I'm going to pop over here. And that gives me enough time to maneuver the ship. To start hanging out right by this window. In fact, it gives me enough time to stop that, to use the slipstream, take this back, head down here, shoot you. And then place the glitch trap once more. Just trying to work out exactly how far I bother moving. Okay, we go like so. Go back. Oh, mm. that's silly. And then we shoot this. I still managed to not quite get the pickup I was after, but that's okay. We got there in the end, 16 seconds, and you know, I, I minimized time just a little bit, but not, not enough really. And there we go. Uh, 598, putting me in first place by 16 seconds. We'll see if that stays. Previously, I did keep that number one place, Though Sebastian Crab and K said got close. K said probably would have gotten a lot closer if uh, they had managed to remember to kill the target on the first ship rather than just leaving their body uh, unconscious on the ship in a corner. Uh, but yeah, and at some point I assume Derek Will will be back because he said he was on a cruise for a week, but I guess we'll see. I hope he's had a great time. And I hope you've had a great time watching. If you enjoy this, please, you know, let me know. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that jazz. I am currently one subscriber away from an even 400, which doesn't mean a thing. It doesn't unlock anything. 
I just, you know, like get the idea of getting a nice round number, and it would, I guess, it means that I would be precisely 40% of the way to having the ability to monetize the channel and thus justify putting more time in it. Anyway, that's it from me. Have a good one. See you next time.